What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a bot for your Kick live streams. One of my moderators recommended a new bot for me for Kick. It's called Botrix. The website is botrix.live. I will be linking that in the description for you guys. I know what you're probably thinking. Lee does not say login with Kick. I'm asking for a Kick bot. I know bear with me just simply log in with discord if you don't have discord log in with youtube log in with twitch i'm sure you have one or the other give it whatever permissions pop up the first time i logged in it asked me for something different because i'm already signed up this is what it asked me for click authorize as you can see my websites are already all connected for the platforms that i have when you log in you'll see the discord or whichever one you signed in with have a check mark by it and the others will say this it's not just a kick bot this bot works for other websites as well click to enter with kick i've already done that i'm going to skip this part but you will click enter with kick and then it will take you to a login page from there you'll log in and give it the permissions that it needs to for kick and it'll bring you back to here when you come back make sure for kick it just says check mark and your username if it says settings and link by kick that means you have another website selected you need to make sure kick is selected from there you want to go to the chatbot under chatbot i would recommend turning off capitalization protection emoji protection and symbol protection these are things that can make people not want to type in your chat i recommend turning it off since you can't adjust it to your liking keep link protection on nine times out of ten when somebody who is not a moderator in your chat posts a link it is spam okay under modules click that next you can can set up a chat alert if it's green it's on click set up these are alerts that will drop in your chat when something happens for instance if somebody drops a follow donates subscribes or gifts a subscription if somebody raids this is for if you want to turn on TTS this is a level system the more people type in your chat the higher their level will go and it lets people know in the chat when they level up and this is a point system like a reward system in the stream kind of similar to who what stream elements has you can use this feature to import commands from nightbot it did not work for me and that is probably because I have 356 commands on Nightbot. If it does not work, try connecting Twitch or whatever account you have connected to your Nightbot before you import and try importing again. You can add timers to your chat and I will actually do this right now to show you guys. I'll copy it from my Nightbot. It's the suicide hotline. Mental health issues are very real and you guys would be surprised who is right on the edge and you don't even know. If it's green, that means that it's on. I'm turning this timer on. I put the message in. I'm setting it at an interval of 10 minutes so it's not too spammy and at least five chat lines that means every 10 minutes this timer will show up in my chat as long as at least five lines of chat have been typed i'm having it on for youtube and kick and i'm confirming if the platform icon is bright that means you selected it to go to that platform and as far as commands here, i'm going to show you guys uh for instance how to add a command exclamation discord and give my discord link in case people want to join my discord server i'm going to set this command for youtube and kick i don't like having really big cooldowns on my timer so i'm going to leave that at three seconds an alias is something else that somebody can type that will also trigger the same command something else people might type looking for my discord is exclamation cord i'm not going to make it charge any points for them and anybody can do this if you only want your mods to be able to call it you can set something higher but for me anybody can ask for my discord so select that and confirm some of my commands have these little shadowed out parts it will trigger the command to at either the person who typed it, the person that they at, or you know, like something like a random number. If you're curious on how to do that, you click add where it says you can use these variables in the command, click that. And it will bring you to a page where it shows you examples of commands and how to use the variables so that you can add the correct person. If you're curious on that, just read all of this. If you guys would like me to drop a list of commands, let me know in the comments. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys is this great feature. You click widgets and you click chat. Widgets are basically overlays. This is where connecting other platforms comes in. I will say that I haven't had success with YouTube. I don't know if that's just me or if that's the entire site. This has worked excellent for Kick and Twitch. I have selected to allow the bot messages to show up. When any bots like Botrix or Nightbot type in my chat, they will still show up on the overlay. I have these emotes on. Hide old messages I turned off. If you want your chat to disappear after it's been on the screen for more than a couple of seconds, you want that on they will fade away i keep this off so that my chat stays on my screen this is an option if you don't want to see when somebody types a command in the chat i have it off because as of right now i'm fine with that going across my screen show platform icon i have this on if you turn this off 
when people type it won't say where they typed it at i like having this on not for me but for my chat sometimes i'll have people type on kick and they'll be like who are you talking to like i don't see these comments or explain to my chat you know i'm live on multiple platforms right now it's nice for them to be able to see the little logo next to it as you can see over here it shows who commented where they commented at and what they said it shows all the bots you can choose your pattern here default bubbles which looks kind of like messages on a cell phone would white which is white bubbles cake this is more like pink side this one shows everything with the name to the side of the message there's no background at all behind it there's also more options with premium which i have not yet decided if i would like to invest in there's hacker this is pattern rounded and sky i use bubbles there is no save button everything that you're doing is just saving automatically you want to copy your widget url now i'm going to show you guys how to actually add this into your obs under sources add source this is a browser source any overlay is going to be a browser source create new i'll just put stream chat now from here it's going to pop up just like this it's pretty similar for Streamlabs as well but i use obs you need to paste the link that you just copied under the url now normally for overlays I would tell you to put the same dimensions as your canvas, which is typically 1920 by 1080. You see how the chat lines go straight across. We don't want that. The dimensions that actually worked for me were at about 400 by 1080. Now you see the difference. It keeps it within the dimensions that you've put so that your chat is staying where you want it to stay. If you want it to be more narrow, make the number smaller for the width like that. If you want it to be wider, you can make the number bigger like that. If you wanted it to be shorter, then you shorten the height. If you want it to be taller, and then you make the height taller. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's not as difficult as you probably think. There's not a lot of customizations just yet, but you can use the features in your OBS to customize it just a little bit. There are other widgets such as smileys on screen. This will make it to where when people type in your chat, the emotes that they type in your chat will pop up on your screen. If you add this as an overlay, you can add follower goals. You can add view counts. You can also click alerts and you can use Botrix to add alert boxes for subscribers, gifted subs, followers, raids, kicks, and tips on kick pretty self-explanatory for subscribers click subscribers active alert means this alert is on dial default you choose which layout you want you choose how long the alert lasts you choose if you want it to fade in and out or if you just want it to pop up you can either choose to upload a picture or you can choose to find an image to use also select a sound from the library or upload a sound yourself. You can adjust the volume to wherever you want it. You can change the color of the text that's going to pop up with the sub and change the font. Shows examples of the fonts as well so you can see it. Adjust the text height, the animation that the text does, the font size for that. You can change the message that pops up when somebody subscribes. I'm going to say welcome to the family. Save your settings. Copy the widget URL at the top. To add the URL, you want to click add browser source, create new, kick sub, delete the OBS project website, paste in the link you just copied. I usually make the width and height the same as my canvas, which is 1920 by 1080. We're going to go back here to the website and click subscription to test it. You can move it around on your OBS wherever you like it. Make sure that when you do this, you're testing it. So you can see where you want to put it. And then lock it in place so you don't accidentally move it. You can check your loyalty and see who's the most active in your chat after the point that you've added the bot. And it looks as if song requests will be coming in the future. So that's a plus for right now. This seems to be a pretty good bot. That's all for this video. I hope I helped. This bot has been great for me so far, especially for my kick chat. I absolutely love it. If you guys need help with anything else, let me know in the comments. Also, thank you for 300 subscribers. I love you guys. Bye.